Topics tab here at DirkMaterial.com. Um, I've selected this topic to talk about because this topic is something that I mean, in many principles courses you just never quite get around to. Well, why? It doesn't make any sense. In economics, we always assume that the person has as a rational decision-making agent. And that's just not true. We've learned this from psychology and other places. So I wanted to spend some time collecting some media and other useful things for you on this portion of the website to help you teach behavioral economics alongside traditional economics. Now, for instance, um, a, a really artsy movie called Pi tries to get out whether or not um, the stock market is predictable or not. Uh, that is, are, you know, are efficient markets possible? Um, and could you break the stock market if you could break the code of all the numbers and somehow fit this all together? A lot of economists believe that markets are efficient, but a lot of other economists believe that markets aren't quite uh, as efficient uh, as you think they should be. Let me give you an example by appealing to Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, which is a funny comedy, uh, and it sort of gets at the point of here why people's behaviors don't exactly sync up with what people, uh, what economists say that they should do. Uh, Harold and Kumar are out in the evening and, and they're looking at a deserted road um, and they look both ways and, and it's clear to them that, you know, they're, that they could jaywalk. So they step out into the road and, and out of nowhere comes this cop, right? And this cop uh, flashes his lights, pulls, him, pulls the guys aside and said, you were jaywalking. And, and they were like, but, but the road was clear and it's, by the way, 2 a.m. in the morning, you know, there's no other traffic here. And it gives them a, a big ticket. You know, so the rational person would say, hey, I, I can jaywalk from time to time. It's no big deal. The law was intended to prevent uh, pedestrians from you know, having to sort of cross the road when there's lots of traffic. But at 2 a.m., a jaywalking law doesn't really make a, a lot of sense. That's one way of thinking about why behavioral economics really does matter in this particular case. It matters because human behavior isn't exactly the way economists predict it would be. You can also see uh, this in what happens in Vegas, right? Because in this particular movie, there's, there's a guy played by Ashton Kutcher, right? And he meets this girl, right? And, and they're both not thinking straight, so they end up getting married right there and then and there in Vegas. Uh, and the rest of the movie basically unfolds with them trying to undo this really poor decision that they've made, right? So, so economists would say, well, they never would have gotten married because they would have weighed the cost and the benefits and they would have realized that their marriage made no sense. Uh, but behaviors aren't what economists predict, and yet we have all these other interesting counterexamples. These interesting counterexamples of why human behavior is not exactly what economists predict, is exactly what makes behavioral economics such an intriguing idea and worth exploring in your classes. So check out the whole section, see all the stuff that we've got here for you, uh, and I hope you find something useful. Take care.